Yo, what's up, guys? I just have to come once again. So, um, in this video, I'll be showing you a lot about matching rate. So, how to improve match rate on Google AdMob. So, a lot of people have been asking me this question. Um, that's why I, I I want to do this video. So, somebody from Egypt asked me this question: how he or she can how he can improve his match rate. So, in this video, I'll just give you much explanation. Uh, I'll be showing you, the, I will just explain everything on, on how you can improve your match rate because uh, that is very important in your ad mode. So, uh, number one thing is I will show, you're supposed to know what causes uh, low match rate. That's one thing that you're supposed to know, what causes low match rate. Because um, low match rate, what causes low match rate, that's, let's, let's just, uh, let's just um, consider that first. So, what causes low ma match rate? From my own understanding, is either you just have a new app on Google Play Store, or you just created a new ad unit. So, if you just created a new app on on uh, on Play Store, if it's a new app, it's um, sometimes Google will just try to uh, to check the traffic of the app very well. That's why you have low match rate. But normally, it's not supposed to pass just a week for your match rate to go back to its, its normal stuff, like for it to be rise again. So if you just create a new ad unit or a new app, if you just build a new app and you operate on Play Store, you then might, there will be um, low, there will be low mass rate. So let's consider all those stuff. So if you're having no mass rate, you have to check that first. If your app is just a new app or if you just create a new ad unit. So that is what always calls low match rate. So now let's go to um, how you can improve your ad mob machine rate. How you can the step you can um, use to improve your ad mob machine rate. So let's just drive into the video. I, I want this video to be more snappy. So now number one is review your ad setting. So ensure your ad setting accurately configured with appropriate ad format and sizes. So if you um, if you just build your app and your ad setting are not, like let me say your ad setting are not placed where your ad is not quite okay, like your ad unit is not quite okay on the app, that's always cost low machine rate. So you have to work on that. So, and also check that ad banner, interstitial, native advanced, rewarded, all your ad units, match the content of user experience. So if you are if you are if you have an app on Play Store and let me say you have an app that is a status saver app, and when somebody opens the app, you know what's supposed to be placed there is app open. So you have to know the the ad that way that will match user experience. So you don't you don't just have to tell them uh, you don't you don't you don't just have to show them uh, any any wrong ad. So where banner is supposed to be placed, let it be placed there and let it be actual size. Don't let it disturb user experience. If your app dis disturb user experience, it will cause a problem. So that's that's it. That's number one thing you have to know um, about how you can improve your ad settings. So number two is optimize ad placement. So optimize ad placement. Exper uh, experiment with different ad placements within your app to find the most effective location. So uh, when you are using when you are building your app, you have to experiment very, very well to know when or where you're supposed to put your ad. That's that's another thing, where on where you're supposed to put your ad. If your ad is well placed, there will be no issue with your app and your match rate will not be low. So, and avoid placing too much ads, so many ads on your, on your, uh, on your app. Don't place much ad on your app. If you place too many ad on your app, it always affects it always affects and it's always giving um, user negative impact. It's always giving a negative impact on your app. So that will reduce the match rate. So work on this as well in order for you to avoid a low match rate. So now another thing is targeting and segmentation. Under targeting, uh, under targeting and segmentation, um, define your targeting setting to reach the most relevant audience for your app. So that's one thing. You have to uh, know who your app is targeting. 
So let me say you have an app that is a VPN app. You know who your app is targeting, who and who, which people are using VPN app, which people are using this type of app. So let me say your let me say your app is a game app. You know people that use that game app. So you have to target those people. You can't target people that is using normal random app. So people that are using game app, those are the people you will target on your app so that they will engage more on it. And the more engaging, that's why your match rates will be also high. So that, that is one thing you have to know under this targeting and segmentation. And so also utilize user demographic and also um, in interest and location targeting to enhance your ad relevance. So when you are targeting people, you have to know their demo demographics and also um, their interest. So when they're engaging on your app, you know the type of ad that will be showing on it. With that, you are good to go. So that will help your app also to be more uh, improving. So that's, that's it about this targeting and segmentation. And also add content and creative. Add content and creative. So ensure your ad creative are engaging on, a, on high quality. So, and also uh, use compelling visual and clear conscience to copy, to attract uh, user attention. So your ad placement, where you place your ad, and the content and everything you have, you have, you have to make it more attractive. So where the ad is showing, so let me say somebody is using your app now, and where the ad is showing, they will, you have to like let it let it be attractive when you are designing your app. So that is another thing you have to know here, and also um, these are these are stuff you need to know, and these are what can help you to improve well on your on your uh, on on your app, and also help your match rates to be more high because match rate is very important. If your match rate is high to 95 or 100, you, you should know what you'll be making on Google AdMob. So another thing is um, you have to always, always, always check the updated, updated um, AdMob policy. You have to be ch checking it always, always. So regularly, regularly check for updates to add more policy and, guardia, and guardianess. So you have to be checking that. And also uh, ensure that your app and ad copy is with latest requirements. So if your app and ad copy are, are, are with latest requirements and everything is following Google policy, you will not have issue with your app. So this is all what you need to know about this. And always remember that monitoring the impact of changes and and uh you always always remember that it might take some time for you to see improvements in your matching rate yes and if any issue persists you can also contact google AdMove you now for them to help you if there has any issue on your on if the matching rate after following everything i listed there after following everything i listed there i listed um number one review your ad setting make sure all your ad setting everything is okay and also um and check as well if your ad unit is correct. You can also check if your ad unit is correct. So if you improve all this, all this part, nothing like this will as well happen. So check if your ad units, everything is correctly and optimize ad placement. Make sure that you place your ad uh, where it will not be disturbing people. Don't put too much ads on your app. And also targeting and seg segmentation. Make sure that the app you are targeting, the people you are targeting are people like people your app. People that are using your app, make sure that they are, they are the targeting audience that's supposed to be using your app. That is always making it will it will bring less uninstalls and also it will bring much uh, much engagement. So that is it here. And also, uh, I talk about ad content and creative. I talk about that ensure that your ad creative and and are engaging and use high quality. So uh, okay, and also I talk about stay updated on Google policy. So that is just everything you need to know and uh, my list of understanding about match rate. If you're having any question, drop it on the comment section. And if you want me to do a tutorial about anything, drop it on the comment section also. So stay blessed, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe on this YouTube channel for more video like this. Bye.